Usually you've got one type of chemistry set, and they look like this. There's nothing wrong with that. Full disclosure, my nine-year-old got this one for Christmas last year and she was thrilled. But let's be honest here, it's the same elephant toothpaste and slime experiments that you see that's geared towards a younger kid side of the spectrum. Your middle schooler isn't gonna be as interested and your high schooler hasn't been interested in anything you've suggested in. <laughs> okay, all right, so let's not make this about me. Chemistry sets used to be this real exploration of science. You could become your own mad scientist by mixing all different kinds of, I'm sorry, does that, does that say uranium? That's right, kids. In your chemistry set circa 1950, your kit contains cyanide, uranium, and if your parents really wanted to buy your love, a blowtorch. What says Christmas more than that? There's gotta be a balance here. Something that is educational, but also explorative. Something that's like beyond just making your own slime kit, but also something that isn't gonna make my kid radioactive. Girls got a dream, right? So I opted for this massive thing because how else am I gonna get my team to talk to me? Just let it go, man, let it go. Okay, so I just finished getting ready for church. That's why I look like this. <laughs> this was like really hard to get out of the box. It's just kind of cumbersome. We have used this now for a couple of months. I tried to put them in the, the way it came in the packaging, but some of them are used. So for instance, or the little alcohol burner, this did not come with this set. The one that came with this set, the plastic around it melted off and it just didn't seem very safe to keep lighting it when the plastic was melting. So I got a new one. I'll link that one in the description box below. I like this one a lot better. So the alcohol burner that it came with was kind of difficult to use for consistent use. We opted to buy a new one completely. This one has a screwable top lid and it's easier to refill. Honestly, that's why I got it. So that's a little disappointing, but this burner is absolutely worth it and was relatively cheap for the price. It comes with a bunch of glass tubes. It comes with some of these little cable things. It also comes with a set of chemicals. And then you have a whole second level of stuff. So you've got a bunch of test tubes, some glass test tubes. Everything in this set, with a few exceptions, was very well made. The ceramic bowl, the glass tubes, the metal rods. I was very impressed by the high level of quality. There were a couple of things like, you know, the plastic cups and the plastic stand. I was, ah, no, okay, okay. It's functional, it's functional. They have a measuring spoon. So this measuring spoon scoop has one big side and one little side. This is the regular scoop. So whenever they say one scoop of whatever, this is the side they're talking about. And when they say a little scoop, they're talking about this one. So they don't differentiate between large and small. It's just, this is the regular side and this is the little side. Thought I'd add that in there. It has these beads, so these get lost. I'm pretty sure we had three or four of these. Um, these are to help with boiling water and just like maintaining temperatures. And we've already lost two of them. So I put these in like a Ziploc bag and just keep track of them because these will be gone. The real concern I have with this is keeping track of all of the items. The styrofoam packaging is not particularly easy to get in and out of the box, and so we end up leaving it out. Not my favorite thing. And I would really like it if it had like an actual case. I mean, look at these old chemistry sets from way back when. They had like a real, some of them were metal, some of them were wood, and it was a real set like that you could close up or reopen. And this one does not have that. It's just open. I mean, if you lose some pieces, they have a form that you can request additional pieces or whatever, uh, so that's nice. If you guys have any suggestions as to how I should keep track of all these things, I'm totally open to it. Comment below. There's probably something I could do with the box, but I don't really want to destroy the box. But why am I holding onto the box? Maybe I should just, maybe I should like cut the box so it like slides on top of it. So this is the book and this is what the book looks like. I love this and I reference this all the time just to keep track of all of the things that we're supposed to have because otherwise we would just lose all the pieces. As a list of things that you need in addition to 
this. Let's see if I can find it. Finding the additional chemicals felt rather difficult. The science company Thames and Cosmos used to sell them and now they say just go to your local hardware store and my local hardware store was no help. They kind of just looked at me like deer in the headlights. I did eventually find them on Amazon and I'll be sure to link those down below. Due to the nature of the chemicals, they couldn't necessarily package them all together. I'm sure there's like, <laughs> there's probably laws about what you are allowed, what chemicals you're allowed to include in one package to sell commercially. Like I'm sure that this is pretty highly regulated. Maybe not, I have no idea. So this is kind of like a textbook. Calling it a manual is a bit of a misnomer to me. I would refer to this as a textbook. The amount of additional information that it has alongside of the experiments is phenomenal. Comparatively to other chemistry sets that I have bought over the years, this one has the most information about what you are experiencing, especially background information to give you, you know, conceptual understanding of what's going on. I mean, this thing has over 300 experiments. For such an exhaustive list, the quality I was really impressed with. Some of these chemicals do require you to uh, take care of them in a certain way. You can't just dump them down the sink. And so we have actually folded it over in a back, in the back, it's a page of how to dispose the waste and it will list it out in the actual experiment saying, refer to A2, refer to A1, refer to, let's see, what, how many, the A12, and that will, guide you as to how to dispose of it. It does a great job on explaining how to properly dispose of chemicals after you're done with the experiment. This is really important and I love that it empowers the kids and gives them the responsibility of if you are going to do this experiment, then this is how you properly dispose of it later. I mean, that's, that's a great life skill of teaching responsibility, especially when handling something that is potentially dangerous. When I was looking for a chemistry set last Christmas, I read a ton of reviews and some of these are like absolutely hilarious. I, I don't know if anybody else feels this way, but I love reading reviews for the stories <laughs> that is associated with them. There is something very satisfying and just the human experience. Excellent, best set I have seen for teaching and learning real chemistry. My opinion was formerly due to a variety of chemicals and Bunsen burner. Sadly, not seen much in more in sets. That is true. It is hard to find a chemistry set that comes with some kind of heating element. I'm not quite sure what the reason for that is, except I know that there was a period of time where people were like super sensitive about chemistry sets. I mean, rightly so, we should be save the children all about that but exact concentrations this is a this is an essay an essay on how great this chemistry set is okay the kit's manual has so much to teach and illustrations are so good that i believe it exceeds the quality of lab manuals certainly better illustrations i agree i think they're i mean it's been a long time since i flipped through an actual high school chemistry textbook but just looking through this one although the language is rather dry there's so much good information in it and there are excellent demonstrations and background information that you can just like really you know sink your teeth into what you are looking and practicing at if i had to explain how dangerous this kit is i would say that anyone eating or drinking the available chemicals might suffer or die if they consume an intentional or significant quantity it's fair Fair. Don't drink this. Uh, the kit contains glass. It does. I mean, if you're going to have a heating element, you don't want it to be plastic. You don't want things to melt. So, but yeah, this is not a toy. Ah, see here. This is not a toy. It is a chemistry learning lab without the aforementioned chemicals and without the recommended safety environment that parents are obligated to provide. Best you can do in any home chem lab package in a kit by a large margin. Big things for safety to real world parents, eye protection, fire precautions and smoke detector and fire extinguisher in the home. Should already have those. How many of you, leave a comment down below. How many of you practice fire drills? <laughs> so I have actual fire extinguisher, two of them in our house, but I also have these like, like kitchen mini fire extinguishers that I absolutely got and handed to her and said, look, just in case whatever happens, we have this. Adult supervision recommended and required. I once set my parents' basement carpet on fire intentionally. 
for about two seconds as a kid with my chem set materials using isopropyl alcohol and a spark. Fumes burn, but not so much the wick or carpet right away. No carpet damage, but I wouldn't risk my own house now as an adult. So you should supervise appropriately. I mean, I mean, the stupid things that I did as a teen and I was like, I know what I'm doing. It's fine. Yes, yes, you may have the knowledge, but you do not have the experience to realize this isn't necessarily worth it. So yeah, he didn't burn his carpet to, or his house to the ground because he knew what he was doing. But as an adult, would you ever take that risk? No, because you know how much a house costs. Still, I won't deprive my kids of the magic of fire in their scientific learning endeavors. So I stress supervised freedom to experiment safely. Maybe your kids will have a doctoral degree in science field. I'm a physician, so the scary carpet fire is probably all worth it in the end. Be careful, have fun, learn tons from this set. Okay, so so here's here's an idea. Have you ever heard of the phrase, leave no trace when you go to the woods? And you're, you're supposed to pick up all of your trash. You're not supposed to take anything home, like pick flowers, take home rocks, whatever it is. Leave no trace when you go on a hike. And, and I'll link a couple of books down below. They're finding that children are less connected with nature because there is this hyper bubble that we put around them when they go out, when they go hiking, when they're out walking. Don't pick up the flowers. Don't. And they're not experiencing nature and so they don't develop a love for it. It's the same thing with chemistry. When we insulate our kids from science and we just make it so easy that all their like science experiments are are not real, then how do they develop a love for that? They can't, right? They can't because they haven't made mistakes and they haven't gotten messy with it. It's all it's all Miss Frizzle. It's all Miss Frizzle. <laughs> Let this be a normal field trip with a friend? No! <laughs> okay, let's go to the next one. Maybe I'm old fashioned, but there's no case for this. Just styrofoam inserts and cheap box. I mean, they're not wrong. I must congratulate Thames and Cosmos for marketing this. It is a real chemistry set. I should know. Why should you know? When I was a kid, I had a big chemistry set available at the time, augmented with aftermarket chemicals from hardware and drugstore shoppy shops. Today, I still have 10 fingers and two eyes. I ended up being electronic engineer. I mean, that's a thing. A lot of the people that have left massive reviews about this now have fields of study in science. Unfortunately, the forces of darkness and the minions of the Flat Earth Society want to keep our population as ignorant as possible. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> we won't go down that rabbit hole. Let's just, let's not touch that. Uneducated, ignorant people are easier to manipulate. Yup. Okay, so don't cancel me on YouTube but he's not wrong. I mean, it, I don't know if Donald Trump actually said that or not. How do you keep them from being educated by preventing them access to learning materials like this, like a chemistry set? These enemies of science call chemistry sets as one of the most irresponsible toys ever made in baby's first meth lab. <laughs> they spread fictitious statements like chemistry sets disappeared because of lawsuits. Lionel Cohen, the man behind Porter Chemcraft, died in 1965 um, and then Gilbert died in 1961 without their leadership the company struggled you know it seems like there must be a conspiracy because in 2012 there were 722 bicycle deaths okay so this guy's gone off the deep end apparently there have been no deaths from chemistry sets in decades yet I have, haven't heard anyone call bicycles an irresponsible toy and there's no indignation that they are legal I, I've lost his train of thought here. <laughs> I mean, he, he, he took us on a journey, didn't he? But So I did a bit of digging about why everybody felt like there was a decline in chemistry sets. The 1960s was a boom of chemistry sets geared towards children, and the Smithsonian had a display on old 1950 sets that boasted a uranium core, and the Gilbert U-238 Atomic Energy Lab came with radioactive sources that emitted alpha, beta, and gamma radiation. So, you know, progress. 70s and 80s brought tighter regulation. I mean, yeah. <laughs> but it put off parent consumers with all the toxic labels and the parental supervision advice because the point of buying a toy in the 80s was to spend less amount of time with your kids and not more. <laughs> Regardless, Tames and Cosmos has some amazing chemistry sets and I've linked them down in the description box below. If you do use that link, it really helps my channel out. So thank you very much. And I hope you guys have a fantastic week.